you went up the hill to start on their adventure. Kate and Chris, not wanting to miss the fun, came racing after. So off on their playtime they'll go. They'll meet, who can say, who knows? There's Humpty Dumpty up on the wall. The old King Cole told him he'd fall. And Wee Willy Winky running through town. The three blind mice have hidden his nightgown. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. Isn't it a lovely day? Oh yes. I wish we could all go for a long ride down Nursery Rhyme Street. What a great idea, Chris. Want to come too, Kate? Yes, that sounds like so much fun. I just need my coat. <gasps> and I need my hat. Guys, we should get ready first. Brush our teeth, clean our face and comb our hair. Yeah! Each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! We should get ready first, brush our teeth, clean our face and comb our hair. Yeah! I can't wait for my teeth to be nice and clean. Hey, I know a song that will make this fun. This is the way we brush our teeth. We brush our teeth. We brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth. So early in the morning. This is the way we wash our face. We wash our face. We wash our face. This is the way we wash our face so early in the morning. This is the way we comb our hair, we comb our hair, we comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair so early in the morning. Now we're all clean and ready to start the day. It's so important to brush our teeth, but now let's go and have some real fun. Yeah! yeah. I wonder what characters we'll meet on Nursery Rhyme Street. Come on, everybody. Let's hop on board the magical minibus. Around each corner, there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Rhyme Street. Come on everybody, jump on board my magical minibus. Let's see what characters we'll meet on Nursery Rhyme Street. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah! This is going to be so much fun. I love riding on the bus. Yeah, and look at all the wheels go round and round. Oh wow! Stop and help. Stop the bus. Humpty Dumpty has fallen off the wall. Let's go help him. He's our friend. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Street.
Humpty Dumpty's fallen off the wall. Let's go help him. He's our friend. Hey, Humpty, are you okay? I don't know, Jack. Can you put me back together? What happened, Humpty? I know. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. That was so nice of the king's horses and all the king's men to try and help poor Humpty. Yes, but where is the king? Oh, he's a great guy. Would you guys want to meet him? <laughs> yeah. yeah! Come on, everybody. I'll take you to see old King Cole. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Rhyme Street. Come on, everybody. I'll take you to see old King Cole. Wonderful idea. There's the king. But who are they? The fiddlers, silly. <laughs> <laughs> old King Cole was a merry old soul. A merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bow, and he called for his fiddlers three. Right, Jack? That's right, Kate. But what does three mean? Well, I know. Three is a number. What's a number, Chris? Are there lots of them? I know all about numbers. Let me teach you. Each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Rhyme Street! I know all about numbers. Let me teach you. Yeah! yeah. I can't wait to learn how to count to ten. You're in luck, Kate. That's what we're doing now. Numbers one to ten. First we've got one and two, followed by three, four. Don't forget to mention five, and let's count on some more. After five comes number six, then seven, eight, and nine. Now we've got to number ten, and we've had such a time. First we've got one and two, followed by three, four. Don't forget to mention five, and let's count on some more. After five comes number six, then the seven, eight, and nine. Now we've got to number ten, and we've had such a time. That 
that was fun. Yeah, but have we learned to count all the numbers? Oh no, there are many more numbers. I love numbers. Tell us more, Chris. I have an idea. Let's do something really fun. Let's count all the way to 100! Yay! Yay! Each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Rhyme Street! I have an idea. Let's do something really fun. Let's count all the way to a hundred! Yay! One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100! <laughs> Numbers are really fun to learn. I know. The tricky thing is remembering them all. How can we do that? I have an idea. How, Jack? Come on. Tell us! I know how we can remember all the numbers we've learned through telling stories. Let me tell you a story of the five little monkeys. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! I know how we can remember all the numbers we've learned through telling stories. Let me tell you a story of the five little monkeys. Five little monkeys. One, two, three, three four, four, five. What did the five little monkeys do, Jack? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bowed his head So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Four little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bowed his head So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Three little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bowed his head so Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Two little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bobbed his head So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed! No 
No little monkeys jumping on the bed None fell off and bowed their heads So Mama called the doctor and the doctor said Put those monkeys back in bed That was great fun, but I feel sad for the little monkeys getting hurt I'm sure they're all okay, Kate That makes me wonder what kind of a sound does a monkey make? Why don't we visit Old MacDonald's farm? We can see and hear many animals there. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait! Let's go then! Yeah. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet So let's get started here at Nursery Rhymes Tree! we visit Old MacDonald's farm? We can see and hear many animals there. Yeah. Sure! Yeah. I can't okay. wait! Oh, it's gonna be fun! Let's go! <laughs> Look at all the wonderful animals! friends, Kate and Chris. Hi, guys. Hi, Jill. Everybody, this is Jill. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jill. Hello, Jill. I love all these animals. They have their own special movements, too. Not just sounds. Really? <laughs> wow. Around each corner, there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. All these animals, they have their own special movements too, not just sounds. Really? Whoa. Why don't we all practice what the animals do? Like this. Moo. If you're a duck, what would you do? You go quack 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 quack. If you're a duck, what would you do? You go quack quack. If you're a duck, what would you do? What is the movement you would do? If you're a duck, you'd really want to go quack, 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 quack. If you're a cow, what would you do? You'd go moo, 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 moo. If you're a cow, what would you do? You'd go moo, 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 moo. If you're a cow, what would you do? What is the movement you would do? If you're a cow, you'd really want to go moo, 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 moo. If you're a dog, what would you do? You'd go woof, woof. If you're a dog, what would you do? You go woof 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 woof. If you're a dog, what would you do? What is the movement you would do? If you're a dog, you'd really wanna go woof 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 woof. Wow! It must be hard work looking after all the animals on the farm. You're spot on there, Kate. It is hard work, but today's different. Today, I'm relaxing. 
Why is that, old McDonald? Well, Chris, today is Sunday. <laughs> Let me teach you the seven days of the week, kids. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! Let me teach you the seven days of the week, kids. Seven is after six and before eight. Very good, Kate. Do you know what comes after Sunday? Well, it all starts with Monday. The first day of the week is Monday, followed by Tuesday. Then we've got Wednesday. The first day of the week is Monday, Tuesday, then Wednesday. After Wednesday, then comes Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, right before Friday. Friday's the best, I can't pretend, because then it's the weekend. The weekend days are so much fun. Saturday, Sunday too. Now we're done singing through all the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday too, Thursday, Friday, nearly through, Saturday and Sunday, phew, now we are finished. <laughs> that was such a great thing to learn. Tomorrow must be Monday. <laughs> Excellent, Kate. Tell us, old MacDonald. Do we have just seven days, or are there any more days, like June and July? June and July are months, not days. Yes, Jack, you're right. Months. What, what are, are months, months, old, old MacDonald? Around each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. What are months, old MacDonald? Well, kids, there are 12 months in one year, and they all go in a special order. What are they called? The first one is January. January, February are the first months of the year. March, April, May, June, March, April, May, June, halfway through. Halfway through. July, July, August, blue sky, September, October, November, December, November, December, start again, start again. January, February are the first months of the year. March, April, May, June, March, April, May, June, halfway through, halfway through. July, July, August, blue sky, September, October, November, December, November, December, now we're through, well done you. We are learning so much today. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> oh, 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 you, you okay, don't Joe? worry. That reminds me of Little Miss Muffet. Who's Little Miss Muffet, Jack? Little Miss Muffet was a small girl, just like Jill, who got scared by a spider. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! Little Miss Muffet is a small girl, just like Jill, who got scared by a spider. Can you tell us her story? 
Sure, sing along with me. Is there a spider in it? <laughs> of course, silly. But it's a nice spider. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. That was a lovely song. But I think the spider never meant to scare little Miss Muffet. You're right, Chris. The spider was on her way to the top of the roof and never meant to scare anyone. But how did the spider manage to climb up? Climbing up the roof is not an easy task for our friend the spider. Why, Jack? Well, let me tell you. Each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! Climbing up the roof is not an easy task for our friend the spider. Why, Jack? Well, let me tell you. I want to know too. Maybe the spider wasn't trying to scare me either. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain so wincy wincy spider climbed up the spout again poor spider no matter how hard she tried she was washed out of the spout every time don't worry about the spider kate she did manage to climb up the roof after all spiders are very crafty creatures wow spiders are so cool hey where's jill is she still too scared to come out? She's over there, near the tree. Oh no, Jill doesn't look too happy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Around each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. Jill doesn't look too happy. <laughs> hey, come on, Jill. Don't be scared. I'm sorry. I'm still so very frightened of spiders. The spider's gone now, Jill, and we want you to smile again. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Good to see you smiling again, Jill. That was a really fun song. But tell us more about hands, Jack. Hands are cool, but there's so much more. Do you know the names of this? 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 And this? No. no? It's so important to know the names of all your body parts. I know a great way to learn them. Around each 
each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! It's so important to know the names of all your body parts. I know a great way to learn them. Tell us, Jack. This is my arm. This is my leg. You guys are off to a great start. Let's keep going. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hands, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and I know an even more fun way to learn about these. Fingers! Do they all have different names? No, they're all the same. Not so, Chris. Each finger has its own special name. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. Not so, Chris. Each finger has its own special name. I wish we had a song to learn them with. Oh, I know a really cool song that will help. Really, Jill? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you this morning? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you this morning? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. I love singing, but all these songs are making me very thirsty. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, me too. me too. Hey, there's a well at the top of the hill, Jack. A well? That's where you get water that's come from the ground. I'll go get some for us. Wait, Jill. I'll help you. We'll stay here, Jack and Jill, while you fetch a pail of water. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. We'll stay here, Jack and Jill, while you fetch a pail of water. I hope they're okay up there. That is a very steep hill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Poor Jack. Are you okay? I think so. Thanks, Kate. How about we all go up the hill together this time? What a great idea, Jill. Friends need to stick together. I hope the poor little pussycat isn't stuck in the well.
around each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Stream! I hope the poor little pussycat isn't stuck in the well. What pussycat? Oh no! A little pussycat is stuck down the well! Did she fall in? No, she was put there. Ding dong bell, pussy's in the well. Who put her in? Little Johnny Flynn. Poor little kitty. Who is that? And who are all those men with him? There are 10,000 men, and they all take the orders from the grand old Duke of York. Let me tell you the story. Each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! There are 10,000 men, and they take their orders from the Grand Old Duke of York. Let me tell you the story. Yes, please do! What are they doing? Marching, Chris. But why? You'll have to ask the Duke himself. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. I'm glad I don't have to march like that. I'd much rather be a sailor on a boat. Oh, like that one? Yeah, like that one. I want to be a sailor too, uh, but what do they do? Sail out to sea, silly. <laughs> That'd be a great life. Imagine what you'd see. Each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street! I want to be a sailor too, but what do they do? Sail out to sea, silly! <laughs> That'd be a great life. Imagine what you'd see. And C, the words are different, but sound the same. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see, see, see. And all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. A sailor went to see, 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 to see what he could see. Wow, that was fun! I wish I knew how to spell all those cool words, though. Well, Chris, we should go over our ABCs. Yes, because C and C 
are different words, but C is also a letter on its own. <laughs> I know. A, B, C, like one, two, three. Let's learn our ABCs in a fun way. Each corner, there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. A, B, C, like one, two, three. Let's learn our ABCs in a fun way. Then we can spell out words ourselves. Oh, I can't wait! What are all the letters called when you put them together? It's called the alphabet, Jill. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABCs, next time you can sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now you know your ABCs, next time you can sing with me. Now we know all the letters of the alphabet. That's fantastic. Just think of all the words we can spell now. Isn't it important to know the sounds in the words too? Good point, Chris. I wonder what that's called. Is it phonics? 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 Each corner, there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. Phonics? Oh, yes, guys. We can sound out the words to help us spell them. Cool. Let's do it. You're in luck, guys. I know a fun little song all about phonics. is for bull. K, k, k is for cat. D, d, d is for dog. This is the phonics song. Come join with us and sing along. You're going to have so much fun with us. Come join with us and sing along. You're going to have so much 
fun with us. Jill. Oh, thanks, Chris. Guys, what was your favourite part? My favourite part was all, all, all is for lamb. Speaking of lambs, look who it is. It's Mary and her little lamb. That cute little lamb follows Mary wherever she goes. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet. So let's get started here at Nursery Live Street. That cute little lamb follows Mary wherever she goes. What about when she goes to school? Yes, I think it follows her there too. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its face was white as snow. Fluffy sheep. Hey, look, it's a little black sheep. Oh, he's so cute. Have you all heard the song Bar Bar Black Sheep? Around each corner, there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery High Street. all heard the song, Bar Bar Black Sheep? It's about a little black sheep and his three bags of wool. Oh, can you sing it for us, Jack? Bar Bar Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the day. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the day. And one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame And one for the little boy who lives down the lane That reminds me of a little boy who looks after his sheep Who is that, Kate? Oh, I know who you mean! He 
has sheep and cows too. It was Little Boy Blue who looked after sheep and cows. I wonder what else Little Boy Blue did. Around each corner there's a new friend to meet, so let's get started here at Nursery Live Stream!